welcome to episode 139 of Anime and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Sean. And this is the review show that reviews anime from A to Z, sort of. Alright guys, last episode we spun the wheel for category P. And was there f***ery in that wheel? I can't remember because it's been f***ery lately. Or we had, no, like, this, was, this was a pure... Okay, Paradise Kiss is what we got. Paradise Kiss is a Jose manga series. Uh, Jose is just like another manga book that gets released every month or whatever. Oh. Uh, written and illustrated by Ai Yazawa. Uh, it was turned into a 12-episode anime series produced by Aniplex and Studio Madhouse. We've heard Madhouse a yep. few times. It, the year wasn't in the description, so I have to scroll down for the year. It came out in 2005, uh, October 2005, December. And the manga was written 1999 uh, to 2005. Really? That's actually surprising. Uh, it felt, the art style felt newer. Like yes. It felt like it could have been something that came out in the last couple of years. But it also felt older, so it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it did, but it felt like it was stylized that yes. way, if that makes like any sense. Like it was supposed to feel like it was older. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> so, right off the bat, before we even jump to the premise, I want to say, this is a competent anime. Yeah, it's just not for me. Yeah, not for me at all. It's, it's like, definitely a good anime for a teenage girl that's older on the teenage side. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't feel like a younger teenage girl should be seeing this. No, 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 no. But an older teenage girl probably fits them pretty well. Right. Because it's... Maybe young 20s. It's not written terribly. It's a, it's. It sounds like it's written like the story they wanted to write and it's not... The dialogue's not terrible. These people would say these things. Mm-hmm. Some know? of the jokes land. Some of the... Some of the banter lands pretty well. Yeah, and I mean, like we said, the animation style is not bad considering. Mm-hmm. It's got this weird, especially in the, sometimes in the background, this like live photo yeah. realistic type thing that yeah, I don't know what it is exactly, but it looks weird. I don't really like it, but it doesn't look bad. Right now, it's all right, and I actually the band in it, Franz Ferdinand. I actually like that band. Oh so. yeah, it's funny how the band pops up. Yeah, <laughs> so and they did the. Outro, I think, of every one of them. That song's very popular here uh, in the States. I didn't the, even hear that song. Yeah, it's at the end of... When it, it cuts out right at the end of the episode, it, it starts to come in. Is so, it Fran? It's Fran Franz. Fran. I had no idea. Yeah, they did the music on it. And it's, it's, they're decent. Yeah, it's I mean, decent. I know them. I, right. I heard their songs. I, did, I guess I never heard that song. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah, that was actually one of their more popular ones back when they were big. Hmm. So, but... With all that being said, I think I like two characters in it, and I did not like the story at all. What characters did you like? Like, I felt... It wasn't like it even liked them. I kind of felt bad for, like, the... we Who we thought was going to be the love interest. The blonde hair guy? No. The, the, the nice guy in the school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I liked him. He was just a good guy through and through, and he got shit on constantly. Uh-huh, yeah, so I, I felt bad for him, and he was, like, kind of... That being the, said, he was also sticking his nose in a little farther than a classmate probably should have. Right, that's true. At the same time, he... This this is, was a girl that... She, he liked. He liked. And up until, like, two weeks ago, she was kind of all over him, too, and all of a sudden she I just, don't know about all over him, but, but you know talking I mean. to him. And, like, she, like, really was into him. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't want to look really into them, but like they sh- literally the first episode they show her trying to take fall- almost falling off a cliff to- just to take a picture of him. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, and she had a picture of him in the in, in her, her book. Yeah, so she was really, really, really like she this had a, guy. a mild crush on him. Right, so she really so liked. She found him. something better, <laughs> but she didn't, and that's the biggest well, better problem. for her. You better say that, better. but better I don't for know. her as in like her taste. What she likes. She didn't even know she liked that up until every up until she figured it out. Yeah, I guess. I don't we'll know. get into it. Uh, what was the other character you like? Well, here's the thing. I liked him half the time, but the blonde hair guy with the paper. Clip, yeah, about half the time. That's about fair. half the time, I liked him because sometimes he's a he's a decent guy. He's the only one talking sense a lot of the time. Mm. But and then other times he's a little prick. He, he's an immature. Frick, but yeah. they're also all supposed to be like eighteen. Yeah, I know, which so. confused us in the beginning because we all thought they were, we thought they were we old. thought they were in their twenties, and the main girl was like sixteen. Yeah, it turns out she was eighteen, and they're all around eighteen. Yeah, maybe they're a couple years older, but it's, you know, if she's eighteen, who cares? Yeah, because they all seem like they're in college or something. But yeah, they keep talking about like third year of school, but that could be a high school. Yeah. They never differentiate if they're going to a college or a high school. I, yeah, I don't know, because they go to, like, this specialty... Yeah, well, which vo- could just be a vokey type yeah, school. Yeah, it's a vocational. High school. It, yeah. it really doesn't explain, Although, at least on the anime. I never heard of a fashion vocational well, school. Well, sure, but, but it's f***ing <laughs> Japan, so... <laughs> That's true, too. Okay, now you can discuss the premise. Oh, uh, a, a girl 
somehow uh, gets recruited to be a model for a fashion show for this group of kids. Well, she's walking down the street and the paperclip guy accosts her. Yeah, and (laughs) says, you'd be perfect. You have to model for me or whatever. They're making a dress for their class project or whatever. Uh, She gets roped in to do that and she falls in love with the designer. And that's it. It's it's a romance built off of that. And there's more to it in the sense that, like, she has her own struggles with home life and all that. And each character has her her own little thing going on. Yeah. (laughs) Did not like the mom. Very abusive. Very abusive. Hitting her and stuff. But, you know. But it's funny because they say at one point in the anime that this new group of people she hangs out with are like this group of misfits, essentially, because they're fashion designers. And they say, this is. Where you, you would probably think we're the type of people that are bad influence and you wouldn't do anything sure, like that. Sure, I mean, that. I guess it's the way they dress and the things they do, right. which kind of makes sense. But, <laughs> but in that, they, they say that as if it was everything. And then they kind of encourage her to do the wrong things and do the bad things anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like they're the not wrong. Hair, one, 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 the blonde haired kid was the only one ever saying, like, why are you doing this? Go yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, because essentially at one point she's literally dropping out of school. Dropped out. Dro- you know, she, in the yeah, sense that she just stopped coming. Yeah. She dropped out of school, and she was going to go find a job just to live with this guy. And living in people's houses yeah. that she barely knows. If she ran away from home, essentially, because her mom disagreed. Well, I mean, her mom was not a good actor in it, so. But still. So, she falls in love with the designer, George. George. And George feels like a pedo groomer. Until you figure out that she's 18... And then it's the pedo thing goes away, but it still feels like he's preying on her the entire time. Well, like yeah. she's this innocent girl that has never had sex, and that's a plot point. Has never experienced, you know, love, and it just feels so weird that he's like pushing her to do things, and then yeah. pulling, and then he pulls back, and then she, you know, she comes forward a little, and then he like it just it feels very predatory. It's he, weird. He's very manipulative throughout this entire show. Mm-hmm. It's like I I don't get it. The her love for him whatsoever. He is. Well, I mean, it's kind of love. It's young love. I get it. I get that. But like, if this was an adult relationship, that would not fly. Even. Probably not. Not if it's an adult, an adult-minded woman. Yeah. But a lot of people don't act like that. A lot That's of people true. are, you know. I mean, she fell for everything. Every time he did one little thing, oh, he didn't call me, so she obsesses over it mm-hmm. and obsesses over it. And and they try to use make her out as this independent, fierce girl, and she's just not. She tries to be. It doesn't really work yeah, out. Yeah, no. Not the way they display it. And he's... I mean, they show his backstory, and he gets it from his dad, because his dad's the same way, and, like... Yeah, but his, he's not... His dad's worse. Right. His dad's worse, and his mom is, like, mid-twenties, if that. Well, he's, like, 18, so she can't be mid-twenties. Well, no, you're right. She has to be mid to early, late thirties. Mid-thirties, yeah. She looked young in the show as well. Yes. Trying to get, get, get she out. looked in more, more to the point she acted young. Yeah, she... Yes, because, and his dad is gray with beard and stuff. Yeah, he's stuff. in his forties at least. Right. She, his mom's at least ten years younger than him. You know, right, yes. Like, she definitely. Probably mid thirties. She pro- definitely had him young. when she was, she was a teenager, that's mm-hmm. for sure. And I lost my train of thought. <laughs> she sort of resents him, but then she doesn't, like she, clearly the way she raised him, she resented him, mm-hmm. but she's grown past that now and she doesn't resent him anymore. But he also calls her by her first name. Right. And then in the last scene, well, maybe not the last scene, the last scene he had with her, uh, he called her mom. So they both had some character growth. Right. There. And then the entire time she's in this relationship with her, he's in a relationship with another guy, too. They kept saying that, but you never saw it. Yeah, I know. People kept saying, like, oh, you've also got a boyfriend or this or that, but you never see it. Yeah. So I don't know if that's true or not. How can you know? I assume it's the blonde haired guy because yes, they're always it together. Was. But they never say it. I know. That's why I was like, that's weird. But how do you know? Because they never say it. I just assume Because that. they said it so many times. No, they didn't say with him. They said with a guy. No, they said you were with your boyfriend. Yes, but they never actually whatever's... said who it was. Yes, they said his name. Nope. Yeah. In I fact, don't think so. In fact, when they were driving to one time driving in the car, that he was, George was missing. So they called him. And to, s- find, to see if he could do the makeup. And he was like, yeah, but don't you just want to talk to George? He's in the car with me. Right. Wait, maybe it wasn't there that I was thinking of. There was a point though where he's like, "You, you were with your boyfriend. What's his name?" The 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 friend that came in at the last episode. She brought it up. She was oh, like, uh, "Kari, Kari, yeah, yeah, Kari, something like that." She comes in and says, "You're with this girl, and you're with this guy at the same time." Yeah, but she doesn't say who. Yes, just she does. This guy. I can't remember his name. It doesn't. It didn't happen. I can't remember. It didn't happen then. Just because I can't remember his name, it doesn't happen. That's how. It, that's how it works. That's not how it works. Things happen. <laughs> if I can't see you. You can't see me. 
<laughs> Red versus blue reference. <laughs> I'm just saying. He, it's, he, he seemed like he had, was in multiple relationships at multiple times. Oh, definitely. But again, it's like, it's one of those things where it's spoken. You don't actually see it happening. Because I, I, and I took it, that was happening because it seems like his dad was it in. It seems like it. Is in multiple relationships at multiple Oh, his dad definitely is because that, they say it. Right. You and that's I mean? my point. That's why I but think But they're he saying it's to him and he's not an important character. There's no reason to see his dad with other women. He's not a character in the anime. Yeah, but you know if, how. If George was actually cheating on her with anyone. Yeah, but you know how. It's pertinent to the story of the romance of the romance anime when was, to see it. When was this written and released again? 99 to 2003. Right. So you think about 99 Japan. And showing a gay relationship on You don't the have to show much. It doesn't have to be explicit. I think saying it was enough back then. Mm-hmm. That's my whole point. Because you know mm-hmm. how behind they are. Oh, my point is, they, they, if it was going to be 100%, then they could have gone a tiny and bit farther. You are judging this way. We've gone on so much on George so less. George is an innocent man. Okay. <laughs> George is, I defend George's honor. George is uh, not a good actor in this whatsoever. They try. He, he isn't good, but he isn't terrible. Like, he still wants her to follow her dreams so like there's a point where they go to have sex and she's like wait i have to tell you something and he's like well it can't be more important than what we're about to do and then they have sex and then later on uh she's like hey i gotta tell you that thing and it's that she wants to move out to uh-huh. go back to school and be a model and he's like the f-? like you thought having sex was more important than your career choices yeah so like he still wants her to have like a career he wants good things for her but he's still predatory. It's such a weird mix. Yeah, but at the same time, I got the thing is that you decided to do that. That sounds like something my mother would do. And I think that's what bothered him more than it was she's acting like his mother rather than he was once what's good for her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I th- I took George as a completely selfish character actor in this entire show. I think he is. <laughs> I do think he's a selfish actor. But again, there's some points, like I mentioned, that well, yeah, like he he's wanted more. He's not terribly for. bad because he like helped the one person I thought was a girl up until the, like the tenth episode. I I knew something was up with it, and she had that little uh, storyline for like half an episode where yeah. she was a, she was a boy and now she's a girl. And yeah, and so like he helped her, her come out and stuff. So, but you know, it's like just because you're a dick doesn't mean you can't do good things from here. In That's time true. Time. Yeah, I mean, people aren't black and white. They're gray. Exactly. So I mean. That doesn't excuse him. I'm not saying he wasn't predatory in any way. Yeah, he definitely was, but there's more to him than just that. Yeah, is all yeah. I'm saying. I know. But I'm just, I'll give the show this. The characters are a lot more complex and three dimensional than they have any right to be. Mm-hmm. Even though this show is based around fashion and I did not, and modeling, and I did not give a shit whatsoever <laughs> about any of it. I was, every time I watched it, is this over yet? Why are they doing this? This is stupid. Well, I mean, it's just that storyline. I, I couldn't care for it. Right? I would never choose to watch it, but that's half the animes that we watch, so it is what it is. Pause. All right, now that Sean... Sorry about that. We ran out of disk space. <laughs> so Sean cleared disk space on his computer, we could continue. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's not an anime I would choose to watch. I don't care about the reason why they're together, and the reason why they're together is the whole... Like, the group is together is because of the whole fashion thing. Right. That's irrelevant. That's not the story at all. The story is the romance oh, yeah, this and is def- everyone's interactions. This is definitely a, a romance anime. Mm-hmm. And I get... Well, we classify... It's not Slice of Life, right? It's definitely romance. It's romance, but it's clearly Slice of Life. So would we... You know what I mean? Would we... It's their daily life. Would we consider that Meizani Kaku that we reviewed also? Yeah, I would I'm just wondering... There's a lot of... So, Slice of Life, as far as I can tell, is fairly new. It's it's not, like, two years old. It's, like, 15 years old or right. something like that. So, like, a lot of those older animes aren't going to have it on there. Right, right, right. I'm just wondering if romance is its own category. I mean, sure, for sure it is, but, like, there's subcategories. Well, yeah. So, it would also fit but, into a Slice of Life. But, sure, I'm saying as one category, where, would, where do you think this would fall? Romance. If I had to pick one, it would be romance. Romance, yeah. It's, it's definitely more romance yeah. out of it. Yeah, I guess so. There's, uh, so, uh, in the second episode, she, or in the first episode, I can't remember which, she goes to get her wallet back, Mm -hmm. and she goes to walk in, and, um, the two characters are, like, having sex on the pool table. Yeah. Almost having sex. Wow. His pants are coming undone, she's laying on the pool table, her panties are out, and it's like, they're about to do it, and then she walks in and she's getting all flustered. It was kind of funny. Yeah. It it was not something I expected. No, and those two are, like, promiscuous throughout the rest of the show. constantly going after So, one thing I did want to mention about the art style... And it was bothering me ever since we started watching it that I re- just remembered that I want to talk about. Why do some of the girl characters look like Mick Jagger? 
<laughs> I don't think they do. Do they? Some of them do. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they look. I, mean, like I don't really know what Mick Jagger looks like. Yeah, he's just got. He's an old. He's an old guy. Like, well, I mean, I know he's that. got this distinct old looking face. The girls look like Mick Jagger. Yeah, some of the girls look like Mick Jagger to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Because uh, they, they're drawn weird. Like the purple. I think that's. I think so. Taylor Swift is a weird looking person, right? She's clearly beautiful, but she's got a weird look to her. I think that might be what the artist was going for. Let me draw these people a little bit odd, but they're still pretty as far as like art is concerned. I guess, but and like that'll draw people. That could be it. Like the purple haired girl has these giant lips. Well, she's also a dude, so no, the girl that is with paperclip, dude. Oh, pink hair. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's yeah, she's got weird lips. Um, I think that's more makeup. I think she's she wears a lot of oh, makeup, like big big lipstick. I just thought but there could be lips. A lot of the characters are drawn weird, and yeah, I think that's what it is. Is uh, you make them a little bit odd, so it draws eyes. Right, you know what I mean. I guess it was distracting to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple different storylines we could go through. Overall, I mean, you know, it's a slice of life romance, and if you're age appropriate to watch it, it's, it's a decent watch. Eh, I don't know. It, I wouldn't choose to watch it. No, I didn't. I didn't like it. I didn't like, like this story. Like I said, it's a competent anime. It's okay. It was easy to watch, especially being on like a YouTube. Like I can just hit play and it'll auto play the next episode. Yeah. Like on a technical level, it's actually pretty decent. I would probably give it a higher yeah. score, but you know, personal preference and taste. Oh yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> same. That's that's a zero. I would never choose to watch it. I mean, I but everything else, I you know, would. if you're into romances, if you're into this, then that's probably an eight or a nine. Yeah, and I like I agree. With you. you really shouldn't watch a lot of young girl watch this. Yeah, it's weird perceptions and what you think yeah. your relationship should be. But I then again, you probably shouldn't be watching Miles, Disney movies. <laughs> well, I also got the feeling maybe a guy wrote this. Yeah, well, I mean, I think guys were well, almost everything we've watched has been a guy. Only a couple have been women. <laughs> what I and I remember having this conversation before. Remember the one anime that we was written by a woman? Uh, one of the like really sexist ones, right? It, well, no, it's worse than that. It was Kaze. Yeah, well, yeah. I say sexist, but yes, that that's exactly what she, that's probably happened to her when she was younger, and she you know yeah. fantasized about it and wrote it up. That's weird and gross, but that happens. Yep. All right, uh, I would give it based on personal preference. I would give it like a six, maybe a seven. But like, if you're into romances, if you're into this kind of thing, it's definitely an eight or a nine. I don't know if I'm that high. I'm at like maybe a five for personal preference. Yeah, it was easy to watch, and maybe a six because I think there are better romance ones out there. I think there are. There are definitely better romances out there, but all the romance ones we've seen have been pretty f***ing dog shit, except for a couple. We haven't really watched many romances. We've watched a ton of animes that have romance in it, and that's what I'm but they basing were, that romance off they of. Were they weren't... Co- sub? Weren't they sub? They sub. W- but they weren't the focus. No. No, not at all. But I would argue that... But if this being the focus, compared to all the other, you know... Yeah, yeah. I guess in comparison to all the shitty romances we're exposed to, but like... This com- is better. Compared to Maison Kaku, I don't think it's better than that. Yeah. Which, was pure, ra- which was pure um, romance. I don't remember what we... I don't I remember what we agreed yeah. either, But I think that one was better. Yeah, it, we, it was longer, I for sure. I barely remember it. It was too long. It had like Wasn't 100... that the house one? They all lived yeah. In the house? I don't know if that would be better. Uh, Especially because yeah. the, the comedy when you so go flat. When you go out of the, your way to watch more episodes just to find out what happened, it's I better. <laughs> yeah, you did in that. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. That, Never mind. That's fair. <laughs> so, all right. That's why I'm judging it. Well, whatever Maze on Kaku was, this is one point under that. All right. Anyway. Should oh, we uh, categorizing against peas? Yeah. Um, oh, f- I know what they are. Peacemaker. Is samurai. Okay. Yes. Yes. With the I remember that. Kid. Yeah. Uh, please, teacher. Number one. Please save my earth. Number two. You know what that one is? More titty. It was more of a titty one, right? No. Oh. Uh, that was that. the one with the reincarnations in space. I can't remember. Was that bad? With the the little brat kid spitting in the girl's mouth. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's that's <laughs> low. <laughs> uh, Plunderer. That was you one. liked that one. That was the one with the helicopter. It was a fantasy world, and then the helicopter came down from the void. <laughs> <laughs> you remember now? <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it, it got really good after when the helicopter showed up. If you remember, <laughs> no. You don't remember? I'm happy I don't. <laughs> you liked it. You know? I think I have dementia. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you really liked that one, actually. And then Princess Nine, which was the baseball one. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't even remember the one you just listened. <laughs> I'm done with that. <laughs> you can rate it, rank it if you want. 
they're all pretty bad, honestly. I mean, police teacher's number one. But that's, that's all that matters. He, he likes police teacher because he can't remember anything If I had else. to watch any of these again, I'd probably pick it. Not because I want to, though. Just and, because... Just based on what I know about you and your memory and stuff, you would watch the second half of Plunderer first. <laughs> probably. But, yeah, so it's probably Plunderer. Police teacher really bad. You only like it because of the dildos. Hey, I'm true to myself. <laughs> I'm just going to put, through, I'm not going to go through the entire list. This one's somewhere in the middle. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we're spinning for category Q. Problem is, uh, we're out of Qs. Yes, our our list doesn't have any more Qs. It was only Queen's Blade. Now, there are other dubbed Q animes out there, but they're kind of hard to find in the sense that I can find them, uh, but they're not categorized in the same way, so I can't like copy-paste all of them. And some of the sites, I can't even go to a Q. You know what I mean? I have nah. to search the anime that I want. So, we're just going to do movies. Yeah, we're going to do an episode of Anime and Us Other, and it's not going to be a Lupin movie, because that's only when we don't plan, don't know we're not doing an episode of Other. It's just, like, when Sean decides he's not going to yeah, do, do something. Yeah, also, it's nice to have a break from a Lupin movie, to yes. be fair. Um, so, these are the movies in the categories. There's ten of them. Uh, DBZ, Naruto, One Piece, Berserk, obviously, those are all the first movies in those series. Mm-hmm. Uh, Studio Ghibli will just pick one. Maybe we'll do it on air if it pops up. Maybe not. My Hero Academia has two movies with the first one. Trigun, I think, has two movies, doesn't it? I think it only has one, actually. Well, either way, first movie. Uh, Girl Who Left Through Time and Whisker Away. And we're spinning. Oh, you skipped the, my, the protest one. Dead Live Action Death Note. Oh, right. That's funny. Well, we got Girl Who Left Through Time, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Girl who left <laughs> How funny time. would it have been if we had gotten Live you Action Death Note? You know what's Death funny? Note? We put all those, you know, ones based on regular shows in into here all the time. Like we, we do never get them. ZZBZ. We always get these ones. Like we got your name. We got um the death one. Was that the death not one? Your name was the death one, right? Hmm? What the death girl? No, that was um. I heard the name of it, but it was different. It was, it was different. Guy. I forget what the name of that one is. We got Akira. We got Ghost in the Shell. We never get any of these, like... And, there, and the show is... Uh, this wheel is mainly comprised of them. Dead Zone 1, Naruto 2, One Piece 3, Berserk 4, Death Note 5, uh, My Hero Academia 6, Trigon 7. So there's seven oh. of them and we got, that are part of a main series that we've seen already. We got Howl's Moving Castle last time from Studio Ghibli. So it's just weird it's that, that we get, like, these really popular popular ones that just out of nowhere. Mm. All right, anyway, uh, next episode, Girl Who Left Through Time, I almost forgot what it was. Yeah. (laughs) See you guys. Bye.